Hey Aries, welcome to Healing Guys to Row. This is your May 2021 bonus reading. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign. Okay, when I shuffle your cards, the card that came flying out for you was the Empress, Archangel Gabriel. And it says, lavish abundance, give birth to your dreams, nurture, nurture yourself and others. And when I meditated on this, I did see that some are, some of you are pregnant. And congratulations. And some of you are nurturing a new business. Congratulations on that. There's new beginnings for a lot of you guys. And um, it's, it's, you're able to create anything at this time. So this general energy is saying that, yeah, you are very fertile. And whatever you want, you can create. And then on the bottom deck, we have Queen of Earth. So it's a thoughtful, creative, warm, sensible. And it says, make time for those around you. Take a sensible approach. Deal with challenges in a kind and understanding manner. But you're very nurturing, so this is, um, the Empress is very nurturing, so that you are going to be kind and understanding. But if there's maybe something that maybe just doesn't, you don't like the way someone says something or something, step back and step into your Empress and don't get too upset with them. Because your Empress is very strong right now. And it looks really good that you're going to create anything you want at this time. What a way to start the reading. Nice. Okay, let's see what's going on for Aries. What do we have for Aries? Alrighty. And we have the Page of Wands. So there's going to be communication. Something's coming in. A message is coming for you. It could be email, um, a letter, a phone call, a text. But you are going to receive some kind of communication, some kind of message. Now, I see you standing in, in, um guarding something here. It's also, um feels like people, I'm getting the energy that people are coming at you from all different sides. And you're standing your ground. You're defending yourself. Something that you said or did, you're defending here. Now, and you're going to balance things out. You have the Sagittarius here. You've got balance here. And you also have the two of wands. So making a decision. Another choice. And then we have the, um, the three of swords. This, to me, is third party. This is interference. This is someone starting trouble. Could be a heartache from the past that's on, that you went through something that really was painful. But I'm feeling it as an energy of someone interfering. That's what I'm getting for you guys. But you're standing your, your ground here. Between this one here and this, you are... And even here, down here, there's like... Some kind of confusion and some kind of battle and some kind of... um. Com yes, I'm getting really strong confusion is what I'm getting. Interference. But you're standing, you're holding your own, you're standing your guard here. And you're defending whatever this is behind you. And with the Queen of Swords, that could be Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. But I think it's your energy. And you're cutting out whatever does not belong. And you're not allowing it in. You're just, you know, you want the truth and the only to truth and then we have the strength card here so you have a lot of strength this is Leo energy we also have the magician so you are manifesting something here and you're putting an end to things that are not working for you something is over something is completed done and you may have some confusion in the future and some something going on here um, it could even be competition because something's coming back in. Some, the world is something's completed. With this ending here, it's something completed, but something's going to come back in too. So whatever you ended is making room for something new to come in. Could be something from the past. But you're also moving away from something that was not serving you, which is this ending here, to something better. And then we have the Knight of Swords. So there's something, this comes in, this energy comes in quick. So once you leave whatever this is here, this is going to be able to come in. So by leaving this rough water, you go into calmer water and you're going to have something new coming in for you. I like it.
Okay. Let's see. What else do we have going on for Aries? Oop. See, look at that. The Knight of Swords, again, from the past. This could be a person from the past come back because we do have the completion of the World card, which means something coming back around. So it could be an air sign that you dealt with in the past um, that's coming back in for you. That would be um, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Let's see. And you might have to make a choice. So you might have brought you some heartache in the past. I mean, that's why you're very defensive here. Let's see what else we have. Yeah, there's then Page of Wands, communication from this person in the past. Page of Wands twice here. They're definitely coming in to communicate with you. They're going to send you a letter, uh, call you. Somehow they're going to communicate. So get a message to you from somebody else if they don't know how to contact you. Maybe they'll go through your friends. And the Six of Cups. Yes, yeah, the past person. This person from the past is coming back in. And look, we have here the Seven of Wands, right? Here it is, and here it is. Uh, yeah, they're, they're worried that you're going to want to be combated, that they're not going to be able to approach you, that you're going to um, keep them back. They're a little concerned about that, but they want to communicate. They're going to communicate anyway. They're going to make the effort. Okay. Let's see. What else we have going on for Aries? Queen of Wands. Yeah, this person sees you as very sexy, very alluring, very attractive. A lot of fun to be with. They enjoy your company. But they, they are really attracted to you. Let's see what else we have. King of Cups. A lot of love here. Could be a, a Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. Doesn't have to be, but this person has a lot of love for you. And they're either around you now or they're coming in real real soon. And they're going to express their love. They want to work on this. This could be the person from the past wanting to work on it. I really see it more of the air sign, but it doesn't have to be. Page of Wands. Again, again, we're definitely getting some communication coming in. You're going to get some kind of communication. You might get a lot of communication, maybe. This is also a card of something, starting something new in, in, in your life. Maybe a new job or a new, new something. Something fun, maybe. I'm feeling fun. Let's see. What else do we have here for Aries? Oh, okay, let's see what this is. Yeah, the magician. <clears throat> yeah, you are definitely very good at manifesting. Now we have the Empress, we have the Magician, so I would say that you can manifest whatever you want. <clears throat> very fertile, very um, good energy right now to manifest things. And there's endings. So you have the <clears throat> there's something ending that you're moving away from. You got the world, that's completion. You got the Ten of Swords there, you got the Ten of Swords there. There might more, be more than one thing that you're ending that is completely done. It's not going to come back around again. And the wheel, yes, when this ends and you change things, this is going to change for the better for you. And um, you're waiting for something. You decided on something. You're waiting for it to come in. You had two choices and you made up your mind on something here. So you're waiting for this to come towards you. I like it. Let's see. Let me go through that. That reading went fast. Let me throw a couple more cards out here for you. Okay, what else do we have here for Aries? Wow, yes, look at this. I'm glad I threw some more cards in here for you. You are working on building your finances. A lot of money coming in. And it's bringing a lot of love. Whatever this is, it's bringing in love and, you know, you wish fulfillment. Lots of money. I mean, you're this is major money. And your cup overflowing with love here. And, and there's comp competition for you. I think it's competition for your love. Or it's competition at work. But there you do have to deal with competition. 
struggling here. I mean, we have this down here, and it's coming up again. But I think you're, it's going to work out in your favor here. It looks good. Okay, let me throw an angel card on here to close this off. Have you asked your angels for help with this? Your angels want to help you with this, this situation. However, they require your permission before you can inter for, before they can intervene in your free will choices. Yes, they always you have to ask them to help you. They can't just intervene. So you have to ask, and they will help you. And then don't forget to thank them. And then crystals. The energy of crystals supports you and helps with your present situation. So whatever you're dealing with, they're saying ask your angels for help and also use crystals. And that will help you. But your luck is changing and you're manifesting quite well here. So um, I think you're doing all right on your own. But whatever you need help with, wherever you feel stuck, don't forget to ask your angels because they're, they're waiting for you to ask them. And once you ask them, they can help you. But until then, you're, you know, they can't intervene. So, but look at this. I mean, Ace of Cups, the... The Ten of Pentacles here. Lots of good stuff coming for you. You're the magician. You're manifesting. Someone wants to come back from the past. So you have to decide on that. Um, they're here and they're also here. But you're moving away from rough water to something better. So all looks good. It's going to play out good in the end. You have a couple endings coming up here that are going to be completely done. You don't have to go through them again. Like sometimes something ends and it comes back and it comes back and it comes back. No, when these things end, they're going to be done. Finish no more. All right, Aries, I hope you like your reading. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I hope to see you again real soon. Thank you.